<laughs> there are so many lovely things to see here, Rosie. Trees, the stream. <gasps> Look! What is it, Holly? A shell. Isn't it beautiful? I know the perfect home for it. Look pretty. I love this room so much. It's got a place for all my special things. Huh? I'm off to play football with Raggles. See you later, Holly. Hey, nice shell. Bye. Oh. <gasps> and left, two, three, four, right, two. Three, four. And that, Archie, is a traditional Dormouse barn dance. Oh, yes, that was nice, very nice. But now I have a dance of my own to show you from South America. It's called the Tango. Mrs. Mordy, may I have the pleasure? <clears throat> Seems most irregular. You're done. Oh. 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 Yes, not bad, Mr. Mordy. Not quite as good as me, but maybe with a little bit of practice. Now then, where's my hat? Oh, it's gone. Oh, this would never have happened with a traditional barn dance. Do not worry. I will find your hat, Mrs. Mordy. I promise. Come this way. Hello. We've nearly finished tidying up. It looks lovely. Hmm, now I'll be more comfortable in my hammock. And I'll have lots of space to play. Just a few last things to tidy away. Huh? <gasps> That's my missing plant pot. How did it get there? Well, the same thing happened with my shoe. Then where's my truck gone? Something very odd is happening today. Hmm. Let's investigate. Today has been really strange. It certainly sounds like it has been. <laughs> oh, there you are. I found your hat. Where? Behind that bush. Didn't I tell you that Archie the Chameleon always keeps his promise? At least that's one mystery solved. Look, your hat. Just like I promised. Thank you, thank you. That's a strange looking hat, Archie. Ay, caramba! What's going on? My pickup truck. We should never have tried that funny tango dance. It's caused nothing but trouble. <gasps> My hat. Come on, follow that hat. Oh, 
Your hat. Just like I promised. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's what's been behind all these things going missing today. A crab. Hmm. And not just any old crab. That's a hermit crab. When they outgrow their homes, they have to look for something bigger to live in. They live in hats. <laughs> no, they live in empty shells. This one must have grown too big to fit in his old shell, but got a bit lost looking for a new one. Oh, that gives me an idea. Wait here. Would you like this? Your new home? Are you sure, Holly? It's your favourite. I think it might be the perfect home for him. Day, Raggles. Yes, we need some shade. Oakley. Hi, Oakley. Oh, oh. Come and have a cool down under my leaves. It's even too hot to play football. This really is the place to be on a hot day. And we're not the only ones, Rosie. There's Mr. and Mrs. Mordy, the Dormice, and their family. <laughs> Ed the Earthworm. Hello, Ed. Ooh. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. And the little acorns. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Oh, yes. I'm quite a popular tree on a hot day. <laughs> You're like an Oakley Hotel. Oh, of course. What a deliciously perfect idea. Oh. Let's make Oakley a proper hotel. A hotel all small creatures can stay in. Ooh. Oh. Can I wear a uniform? I could welcome everyone. Yes, the doorman. And I will make the perfect hotel manager. <laughs> in charge of everything. Do you really want to be a hotel, Oakley? Well, I like looking after my friends, so why not? Oh! <gasps> there. A lift to take the guests to their rooms. Up here will be the best room, the penthouse suite. These nests will be dry and cosy for our guests. And these horns and bells will be perfect for calling for room service. <laughs> we make quite a team, you and I. Hmm, I make quite a hotel manager. Ahem, welcome to the Hotel Oakley. Here are my staff to look after your every wish. Here's Raggles the doorman to welcome you all. And Holly the waitress, ready to take orders for lunch and give them to Big Bear the chef. And finally, we have Will, our bellboy, ready to take your bags to your room. And Rosie, the hotel housekeeper. Are we too late for a room? 
I want a warm, cosy room with the best view. Oh, these geckos don't travel light. The perfect room for a gecko, warm and light. Enjoy your stay. Ooh, what about that big nest up there? Uh, that's Bluebird's nest, but, uh, no, why not? It's the warmest and lightest in the hotel. Come on up. Ah, that's more light. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Off you go, little acorns. This nest is for guests. to your liking? We did ask for hazelnuts, not a rotten apple. Ooh. Waiter, we ordered raspberries, not hazelnuts. I, uh, uh, I'm sorry, madam. I shall, uh... Excuse me, madam. Back in just a second. Oh. What are they doing in my nest? Um, I think Ed needs an apple. But what's wrong? No one has got what they ordered. All the food is wrong. Do you think I should have written down what everyone wanted? That might have made it easier to remember. What do you think of the Oakley Hotel, Little Acorns? No lucky lucky! Who said the Darties could have my nest? Me! And they love it! Happy guests, eh? Next time, I tell the guests where they can go. What sad little acorns. Where are they going? Can we have our food now, please? Very tired. Working at this hotel is hard work. But everyone's happy now they've got their food. What's for dessert? <coughs> what is it, Ed? Uh, you're thirsty? Mm. I'll get you some water. It's okay, Ed. Maddie's here. I'll take that. I'm the hotel manager. I fetched it. But I'm in charge. Uh -oh. Uh oh! Oh, it feels like rain. <gasps> this sort of thing does not happen at home. We've got all the guests a present. Something to make you feel more at home. Here you go, from the sunflowers in my garden. Oh, our favourites. Thanks, Rosie. One squishy ripe apple from the orchard. Your favourite bosberries, Mr and Mrs Darty. Oh, thank you, Rosie. What's wrong? We love sleeping in your shade on a hot day, Oakley. But these sunflower seeds remind us of our home. Mr Maud is right. We all miss our real homes. We want to sleep in our own beds tonight. And I only want my friends to be happy. Maybe Safi is right. Maybe your home is where your heart is. Oh, and we've got something for you too, Oakley. Welcome home! <laughs> oh, thanks, Rosie. Where are Big Bear and Little Bear going? <laughs> to find lions and elephants, but they won't find any wild animals in this garden. Poor Little Bear. He'll be very disappointed. <laughs> I know a way to make their adventure more fun. Let's make a special trail for them to follow. Little Bear will love it. <gasps> look, look! They look like animal tracks. <gasps> follow, follow! <laughs> what animal is that? 
that supposed to be? Um, a hippo, any rhino. Look, over there. I think I can see something moving. Animals! Shh! We need to be quiet. We don't want to scare them away. Hey, Rosie, Raggles, what are you doing? We've been making prints for you to follow. Oh, I see. The little bear thought they were real. No animals. Sorry. We thought it would be fun. It's OK, Rosie. Sorry, little bear. Maybe there aren't any wild animals in the garden after all. <laughs> animals! Oh, <laughs> they're ants. Ants, 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 ants! Look there. They're tiny. animals in the garden after all. Mini beasts. Why don't we have a mini beast safari? Oh. <laughs> oh. <gasps> wow. Make a mini beast zoo. Then we can see them whenever we want. <laughs> <laughs> Ants, hello. Hmm. Oh, we've tried to make them feel at home with twigs and leaves, but they look as though they want to get out. Maybe they'd be happier if we gave them some treats. Let's go and find some. Hmm. Sorry, Rosie. I don't think snails like strawberry milkshake. I think carrots are a little too crunchy for butterflies. But they're so delicious. <clears throat> what about these? Everyone loves fairy cakes. Mm, yum. They are delicious, Holly, but not for caterpillars. They escaped because they're homesick. Hmm, I think Big Bear's right. I wanted to look after the mini beasts, not make them unhappy. Don't worry, Will. We can cheer them up again. Let's take them all home. No beastie zoo. Nope, sorry, little bear. We need to put them back where they belong. Where do the ants live? The ants' nest is over here. Lucky I've got a super duper memory. I remember everything. There you go. Bye bye, Flutterboys. I remember where he lives, Raggles. Over there. Bye bye, 
snails. Well done, everyone. All the mini beasts are back where they belong. Not quite, Big Bear. Oh, hello, little one. Now, where do you live? Will knows. He remembers everything. Uh, I'm not sure. It's okay. I know a way to find out. Wow. wow! It's my way of remembering things. Draw them. And now I remember exactly where the ladybird lives. Follow me. The ladybird. <laughs> I was wondering where she would got to. She lives right here on my bark. Well done, Holly. Bye-bye, ladybirdy. Oh, aren't you sad to say goodbye, little bear? No. Visit beasties any time. <laughs> it's going to be a big honey-making day today, Raggles. The bees will be very busy. Oh, I love honey. How do bees make it? See the centre of the flower? Yes. It's full of nectar. The bees collect that nectar and take it back to their hive and turn it into runny, yummy honey like this. Oh wow, bees are so clever. Mmm, yum. I'm off to see Will. See you later. Bye, Rosie. I planted lots of flowers for them in the orchard. Want to come and see how they've grown? Oh, yes, please, Big Bird. <gasps> a snail. The perfect thing to draw. They don't bounce around and they're nice and slow. Hello, Holly. Great snail picture. Hey, you could draw my lovely new flowers, too. I planted them over here. Come and see. I can't see any flowers, Big Bear. Me neither. I planted them around here. Oh, but there's nothing growing. Oh, dear. Oh, well, I'll just have to plant some more. Come on, Raggles. Let's go and fetch some more seed. I think I've got everything I need. I'll babysit the bees while you're gone, Big Bear. Oh, bees don't really need babysitting, Raggles, but, uh... If you're going to do it, you'll need to wear these, because bees can sting. <laughs> I've never babysat bees before. This'll be fun. Where have all the bees gone? Maybe they're hiding. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Bees, where are you? <laughs> hey, cool outfit, Raggles. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm looking for Big Bear's bees. I'm supposed to be babysitting them, but oh, I can't find them. I'm sure they won't be too far away, Raggles. I'll just put these pictures inside for Big Bear. I'll help you find the bees, Raggles. Oh, thanks, Will. Now you can look cool too. Oh, uh -huh. to look after his bees. And without bees, there's no honey. Unless, maybe there's another way we could get some. Yes! We can make the honey instead. How? Hmm. Big Bear said the bees collect nectar from the flowers to turn into honey. So that's what we'll do. Oh, it's empty. What about you? Sorry, Raggles. 
I think you need to be small, like a bee, to get the nectar out. I'll just have to tell Big Bear that I'm not a very good babysitter and I've lost his bees. Hi, Oakley. Have you seen Big Bear's bees anywhere? <laughs> Look over there. They've been buzzing around all day. The bees! Flowers. Lots of them. Oh, yes. We've had quite a few seed picnics here. We must have dropped a few. <laughs> the bees will be able to make lots of honey with these flowers. But how will they find their way home? Home. <sighs> there you are, Big Bear. Hello, Holly. What's that you've got? You were so upset about your missing flowers, I've made lots of flower pictures to put up in your house instead. But there are too many already in Big Bear's house. Shh! Raggles? Oh. Oops. Oh, they're lovely pictures, Holly. Oh, thank you. It's a shame no one wants them. Hmm. All these pictures and those bees have given me a great idea. Thank you. Well, uh, it takes the bees a while to turn the nectar into honey, so they won't make it in time for tea, but luckily I always have a few spare pots of honey just in case. Honey sandwiches for tea, anyone? Yay! Yay! 